there is a darkness, spreading in the galaxy. But darkness, cannot exist without light. The universe will always find balance. Each of us walks the path defined by our decisions. Our choices shape our lives. And they influence the universe in ways we can't imagine. When both good and evil choose you. Magnus, report. Test successful. Roger that. Return to base. Copy. ETA, five hours. Hi, my name is Andrew. I am the founder of Fair Games Productions. I'm here today to tell you about the game changer called The Chosen. The Chosen will be a multiplayer open world RPG. At this point you're probably thinking, oh god, not another point and click game? Well, let me stop you right there. The game will feature first and third person style gameplay. But forget all the technical stuff. What you want to know is why the game will be fun to play. Imagine this. You're in your ship, cruising around, when suddenly you get a distress call. Another player is being attacked by pirates. You decide to go help. But when you get there, you discover it's a trap. A group of enemy players ambush you. You are now captured and being transported to the enemy base, where they plan to extract the security codes of your group from your mind. On the way, the transport is attacked by your friends, who received your distress call and came to free you. Or, your fleet is in the heat of battle. Suddenly, the AI informs you that the enemy has boarded your ship. The automated defenses aren't enough to stop them and your security team is down. The enemy is right outside the door, about to take over the bridge. You decide to order the full evacuation of your ship and as a last act of defiance, you activate your ship's self-destruct. Your ship is destroyed, but you take out the enemy in the process. These are just two examples of the types of complexity and features we want to integrate into this game. Our main goal is realism. We want to create the most immersive gameplay experience we possibly can. In The Chosen, you will be able to do anything, from walking on a newly discovered planet to commanding an entire fleet, and even exploring and customizing the interiors of your own ships. Now we all know that making a game like this requires massive amounts of 3D content, characters, buildings, weapons, ships, but here's the thing, a lot of that content already exists, and some of it may have been made by you. In the trailer you just saw, we challenged ourselves to use as much pre-made 3D content as possible. When we saw the final result, we decided to make this one of the major goals of the project. And by doing this, we will be shaving months of the production time while also supporting the freelance artists that created all this amazing artwork. One of our long-term goals is to evolve the game by continually adding new features and content, keeping the game new and exciting even for the veteran players. Our writers are already working on various scripts, constantly coming up with new missions and new characters. The list of features we want to include in the game grows every single day, 
And we also want to integrate features suggested by you, the players. Aside from all this, we want to create a minimum of 12 ships per playable race, bringing the grand total up to 72 ships at the very least. And most of them will have customizable interiors. Plus, each major module will have a few different decorations and setups to make each ship unique to your own liking. And what online game would be complete without customizable characters? Choose your own look, make each piece of armor and each piece of equipment your own. We want this to be a game you'll be playing years from now and still be surprised by it. But we can only achieve this with your help. Support us by contributing as much as you can in the knowledge that it'll be used to bring you a game you can be proud to be a part of. Your contributions will go into paying the artists, the team of programmers, and buying the more advanced hardware and software we need. The first funding goal will keep us going for the first year of development when we'll be able to release a basic game. The other five stretch goals will fund the other year and a half of production and will allow us to include all the features we want into the game. And if we reach the final stretch goal, the game will be free to play from the moment beta is over. If you can't contribute money, there are other ways you can help us. Spread the word about this game and post about us on your social pages. The more people that know about it, the higher the chances of success. So please don't forget to like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter. And we hope to see you all in the universe of the Chosen.